Well, hello guys, welcome to the Harry Goats again. Of course, I am Ryan. And Jacob. And welcome to Caravan Island, the second um, chapter, really, of the raft, and the first island of, of this chapter. Uh, we're really excited to be bringing you this guide, or how-to guide on raft. Um, this video is going to be split up into two parts. The first part, we're going to show you where the uh, battery wires are, along with the zip line parts. And then our second video on this island will be where all the notes are located, the extra resources you can pick up, and any blueprints that are available on this island. Now we're going to head off um, onto what we call the docks here. And then we're going to head towards what is called the port office. Now this is where the first part is available for use, which is the battery charger part. There's now there's three parts to every um, item we're creating today. So you've got three parts for the zip line and then three parts for the battery charger part. And this is the battery charger part one. Brilliant. And then what we do is just we can see here, there's a little bit of a maze. So we're just going to work our way up the maze and then we're going to get to the, the second part. You can do this in any way you like, um, as long as you get to the top really. So we're aiming for a section where there's bees and there's going to be bees near a tree. So you can maybe go up the caravans or along some stairs, whichever you would like to do. So the, the, the route I'm taking, you're more than happy to take. Um, it's up to you. Um, this is more of a direct route straight to uh, the second part of the wire charging. You might notice that I am missing a few parts out that you can see to my left. Um, that is because uh, we're going to come back to that in the second part of this video. Now what you're aiming for is to go up these big um, long set of stairs. Now, as you can see to my left there is a um, bees. Uh, this saves actually on peaceful. Um, Ow. And they will hurt you if you attack them, so pre-warning. Alright then, so up we go, straight up to the top, and we're going to get to this place. Now you can either go left to go into the centre of where the caravan is, or you can go right to where sort of a subset of the caravans I would say. Um, and you want to end up heading up to those set of stairs straight ahead of me, is where the next section is. And then I'm going to pass over to Jacob to explain where the next part is. Oh, I mean, to the next part is up these ladders, to be honest. Pretty easy, pretty simple, right here. Just, I um, mean, just, there we go. Right, charge part, just pick that up. Brilliant, so if we press T to have a look at how many parts we've got so far, we've got two, so we need one more oh, part. Yes. One more part to complete that battery charging part. Now, from my memory, I believe we go back down these stairs again. Or we could just jump down, even. And then we go across the other side towards the caravan sensor, I do believe. This is the uh, centre caravan, or the circular caravans, as we call it. Little community of caravans. Little community. I like it. I like it. I like what they've done here. Brilliant. So the next part is up on top of this hill. So we're going to go up this one and take a left. Then up here again. And this is the final part for the battery charging part. Brilliant. So that's all three parts for the battery charging part complete. Now, you might have noticed when we came up that there was a pump. Um, that pump leads to the next part of this video, which is unlocking the zip line parts. Now we're going to head back down to where we started again, um, and we're going to show you the process of unlocking the zip line parts. Where was it? There. So you can either go back the way you came or you can just fall straight down the cliff and try not to get yourself hurt because you will take full damage so I'm just gonna go the way I came back down back down brilliant 
So if we start off at the port office like I did last time, and we go up. Cut this ladder. You should see here on my right hand side is a open cavern, and at the back here is a well. Now down there, if we can see, is a part. Now we can't currently access that part, so we're going to need to use these pipes, connect them all together, which then results in us pumping some water down these pipes to fill up this well, which will then lead us to accessing this part. Now, where's my companion? Oh, look, he's all the way up there. Hello. All the way the top, mate. <laughs> okay, I'm by then. The pump. You're by the pump. All right, then. Let's see if I can connect all the other parts together again. And then we can get that started. So, all these parts here interlock and connect to each other. So, we want to press the R button to rotate them. And using your mouse, you want to rotate them so they're facing correctly towards the funnel, which I do believe that now is. To me. Brilliant. Now there's there's three parts that connect to this one, so that's number one. Um, there is a, another part over here, so we'll go up this ladder. The best way is just to follow the, um, the leads all the way up, to be honest with you. So the next one is here. So if we just rotate that. Oh, and you can do it. There we go. Is that? Yep. That's facing it. Down we go. And if we go, if I go down to the bottom, and I can show you what happens. So, if my fellow companion stays up there, or fellow adventurer, should we say fellow adventurer? Does that sound better? I have no idea, mate. I mean, we're rafters, aren't we? Rafters, yeah, of course, yeah. Let me just get above on top of this caravan quickly. There we go. Right, this That's is the last one I've went, so we just need to rotate this around. There we go. How are we looking? And if Jacob keeps pumping and we go down here, we can see how full we are. Oh, we're getting quite close to the top. Just a few more pumps there. Yeah, another four coming. Brilliant, and now that's it. Complete. And that is the first zipline part. So if we click T, that's the first zipline part, and then we have the three wire parts, which is awesome. Okay. So, following on from that journey, we're going to go back up to the top of where we just were in the centre console of the uh, caravan island, where we're going to go across to this centre part of the island. So, I'm just going to follow the uh, route back up like I did before. There's no, well, let's say there's an, an exact or direct route to the top. There's obviously a million ways up here that you can go. Um, I'm just taking this route because I find it easier. So we're going to go past the bees again. Over to the centre. We're going to go through this, past the cans, goods, and then across into the center. And then inside we go. Now this is the workbench for the zipline parts. Okay, that's set, it's in the center building in the center of the islands. Um, just so that your referencing is there for you. Now there's two ways to get over to what we call the back island, I'm going to call this one. So we have the Infernary Island over there to the right, the back island, and we also have the Mare's Island to the left. So we're going to go over to the back island using this tight rope, trying not to fall off. 
Ooh. On this island does feature some bees as well. Um, so obviously that'd be extra honeycomb there for you. Or some extra resource. We want to head over to the back of this island, where over here we have what would you call this? A rocket, Jay? Uh, I suppose an explosive boiler, isn't it? Explosive boiler. Okay, we'll go for that. Explosive boiler. Um, as you can see on my screen, requires one explosive powder. Now, Jacob, do you have that explosive powder on you? Why, well, yes, I do indeed. Funny that. Would you like to do the honours for us? Yep, let's uh, jump on. Oh. And, and watch the pretty fireworks. Not gonna lie, looking at that, that, that at night time, that was kind of cool. cool. That was pretty cool. Um, in our previous save we've done, uh, we did that during the day and it was pretty pathetic, not gonna lie. Um, but that was pretty awesome, uh, looking at it at night. Okay, um, so that obviously parachuted down. Um, and that's the next part, or the next destination that we want to go to. Uh, which is over there on that rock. Um, and you know what? I'm going to allow my fellow companion to do this next section. Right, so we, uh, we should probably do this at daytime. So let's uh, skip the daytime, shall we? We'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm down here, the rock's just there, that's the middle just there, so if you jump down from the rock, go down that little ledge there, you end up just here, so I'm just going to come around here, and we're going to jump onto this island. Now this is the second part of the zip line. though a worthy mention is that it also comes with the blueprints for the fireworks, which are kind of cool, they're nothing special, and it comes with the major Tom toy. Also, not particularly anything interesting, but I just thought they were worth the other noting. Right, so I'm gonna pick major Tom up. Oh, shit, whoops. And the firework blueprint. And now this is the zipline. But well, this is the zipline part, anyway. You're right there, bro? I am. All okay just, down here. Just cliff walking, that's all. It's all, a new you could do, isn't it? all you could do up parried in the fire logic and walk down the cliff. A steep <laughs> cliff. Um, well, since you're over there, parry, I suppose you can uh, dive down and show them where the last zipline part is. I will do indeed. Brilliant. So, as you can see where Jay is up top there, we're going to come round the cliff face and you're going to head towards what is. The bike, which is just it, and then we're going to be diving down to the depths of the sea. Now, a note that you would want to take is that you might want your scuba gear. So, if you have your scuba gear, this could be a lot faster. I, I haven't got any scuba gear on me right now. Um, I'm hoping that my fellow companion has some scuba gear. Nope. Okay, we will do this without scuba gear. So, um, let's go. It's in the raft. It is in the rough, but we'll have to go back. So, if we're out scuba gear, it's going to be a little bit um, slower. Slower. Um, but what you do is to follow the pipe down, try missing out the um, fishes Pop on fish. the way. Pop fish on the way. There is some breathing tanks here, which you're going to want to stop at to regen your oxygen. So I've got full oxygen now. And then you want to keep swimming to the depths of the sea. This is quite far, isn't it? Yeah, it's very deep down here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the uh, point of the well of the citizens what, what why they were doing this. We don't quite know. There's no real obvious reason. I don't know if there's even law to this. I don't know if there is. Right, we'll keep going. So I should read the notes. What is the uh, fishing container or the? Shipping container. container. Yeah. Got any from Southampton? Oh, I should, shouldn't I? There is a uh, two puff fish here, so pre warning. Uh, one we of should them... mention we're actually in peaceful, actually, shouldn't we? We should, yes, for this one, for this save only. 
So okay, so down here, oh. down here, we are have got the last and final part for the zipline. Whilst we're down here, um, we should have mentioned that this is where the metal detector uh, blueprint is, and this is where the infernary key is. Uh, these two items will be key in our second video part, so stay tuned for that. Um, so we're now going to head back up to the top and head into the centre where we can unlock the zipline. Now I should mention, because we're in uh, peaceful mode, these guys won't attack us at all. If you were in any other mode other than peaceful, uh, these guys will just follow you and hunt you down and explode. They explode into a poison gas, which does poison you over time, so just be careful with these guys. You can swim past them, but we were advised to kill them because they're just paying the ass to us. Brilliant, right now we're back at the top, and if we press T, we have all our zipline parts, and then we have all the battery charger parts. So we're going to head back up to the top of the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the cliff face up. Do a cheesy little exploit, or whatever you want to call it, with the uh, metal wire up there. Probably not meant to be doing this, but we're going to do it anyway. We are indeed. Um, I think the original route was obviously the bridge that is half broken down below. Yeah, but which sure, yeah. nine out of ten times we uh, fall off from. So into the centre we go. Just gonna take a bit of a sip of drink because I'm a little bit thirsty. And then over here is the zipline part uh, workstation. So we're now going to construct that. Um, we now have the zipline tool, which you're going to want to equip into one of your clothing uh, sections in your backpack or inventory, which will then enable you to um, use the ziplines. So there we go. You can go either way you want to go. I'm just going to head over to the MERS section or building. Inside here is the workstation for the battery charging part. And then obviously constructing that brings you the blueprint, which now allows you to charge the dead batteries that you have within your raft. So that is everything on this video with regards to the parts you have to craft, the location of where these parts are and how to craft them. In our second video, we're going to be showing you where the notes are located in, on this island, along with any extra resources that you can pick up. And that yes. is that. You're right there, sailor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, captain's hat. Captain's hat. Uh, where have you just gone? Okay, you've just gone through a captus. Look at that. <laughs> And on that note, we're going to end the video here. So thank you very much for watching and stay Goodbye. tuned for the second part. Goodbye.